sports fans, welcome to the Broadcast Boot. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's May 25th, 2021. Today we break our first blaster of 2021 Bowman, but this is also a big day in baseball history, and I want to thank a couple of fab subs. So, top of the lineup today, Babe Ruth and Willie Mays, two of the greatest to ever do it, and both regulars here in Shenanigans Card Park. On this day in 1935, Babe Ruth hit his final three home runs. Interestingly, he hit them for the Boston Braves, not the Yanks or the Red Sox. That day, he went four for four with three homers and six ribbies. His final appearance was five days later. And on this day in 1951, Willie Mays, who just turned 90 years young uh, and is currently the oldest living Hall of Famer, played his very first Major League game. He went 0 for 5. He actually went 0 for 12 to start his career, but that lucky 13th at bat was a home run off of Hall of Famer Warren Spahn. He did win Rookie of the Year that year. Uh, Okay, so yesterday we had another live mail pop-up, and I got to open packages from Fab Subs. Uh, and hang with Fab Subs in the real-time chat. And I want to thank Ryan at Hot Corner and Charles Dilworth for sending along some amazing goodies. They both sent a lot of great cards, and I can't really pick any favorites, but I wanted to go through a couple really cool ones and just sort of revisit them for anybody that did not get to hang uh, when it was live. So first, Charles sent a lot of great cards, and then he sent these two really cool minis. You know I love the minis of any variety, really. So, never seen this Jeter card before. Really a cool card. Uh, 2010, our guess is Heritage. Uh, The people in the chat weren't really 100% sure. I wasn't really 100% sure. Uh, But the copyright is 2010 down here on the bottom. Uh, But a beauty. Really, really cool looking card. And then, of course, as a Ginter geek, love the Tobacco Minis. And, of course, perennial 8 Breaks All Jewish Team Starter. Sandy Koufax, great 2014 Ginter right here, and an A&G back, utilizing the cool one-touch mini cases from also from Fab Sub Josiah Keen. Very nice. So thank you, Charles. Awesome stuff that you sent along. And then uh, Hot Corner sent a big old box of eye candy, as he states in his note here. Whoops. Sorry about that, babe, on your day here. Messing with the pin. I sent a little note here, cool, you know, uh, thing, you know, enjoy the eye candy. Uh, and then he sent some box toppers, which are always cool. So we got a little hashtag KB for the PC back there. Nice big old turkey red. Uh, I'm guessing that's like a topper from Flagship, but I'm not really 100% sure. Um, so he sent that to uh, Don Mattingly, Hideki Matsui Stadium Club, and Aaron Judge uh, Stadium Club Wide Vision. Just awesome stuff. Um, but then he sent a bunch of stuff that was also top loaded, and among them was this mustachioed stud right here, Sparky Lyle, World Series champion, Cy Young winner, and just an awesome crumb duster. Uh, but what I dug about this, not only is it a 1979 tops legit, um, but and in great condition, but it had this really cool 1970 or uh, 75th anniversary top stamp and i wasn't really sure what that was from so i did a little research uh it's from 2014 tops it was a buyback special they were doing uh and it, they basically fell about one per box uh if you were able to get one of these and if you're you know in the know a little bit on like rediscover tops or heritage buybacks they don't usually um have name guys so to get sparky lyle uh is just awesome so that was a really cool one that jumped out at me. And then amid, uh, amid all of the awesome cards he sent, he had this hidden in there, a sweet El Duque autograph on card. Look at that beauty. Woo, very cool. Youngsters, this is how you sign an autograph right there. Not scribbles, you know, initials, any of that nonsense. Look at the beautiful penmanship. From El Duque. English, not even his first language, people. Come on, that's how you do it. Take note, youngsters. Enough with the crappy autographs, right? Okay, so, uh, and I just want to say, it's always uh, a great time in the live mail pop-ups 
to hang with the fab subs in the chat. They are not archived, so you got to be there or be square. Uh, and so I hope that you are subbed and you hit the bell and all that so you know when I'm going live and you can hang out. Uh, it's always a really good time. Thanks to everybody who joined the chat. Okay, let's rip some Bowman. Bowman has been pretty good uh, to sh us here in Shenanigans Card Park over the years. You never really uh, know what you're going to get. And a lot of the cool things about Bowman is basically you rip it. And you go, don't know this guy, don't know this guy, don't know this guy. Uh, and then a couple years down the road, they turn out to be studs. And you go back through and you're like, hey, Jazz Chisholm cards. He's awesome right now. And uh, that's how it works with Bowman. So I've grown to understand and enjoy that part of it uh, as I've been back in the hobby. For my fellow NPN nerds out there, here we are. Group 19, PO Box 5013. Down the road from the good folks at Dunder Mifflin in Scranton, PA. Again, I mention it often. Leave a comment. Have you won an NPN? I have not won an NPN in a very long time. Uh, and I'm wondering what's going on with that. Because uh, I had a pretty good run there. And I've just been nada for a, quite some time. Would love to know if anybody has won any. Uh, all right. As always, check the description below for links to Clary Skullberg Scholarship. If you see cards you like, they can be yours. If you want to make a little donation, help some kids go to school. Obviously, it's all about the Bowman Chrome inserts. They're really pretty. Everything is better in Chrome. Look at that nice throwback powder blue Twins Uni. Uh, this reminds me of like a 2013, 2014 top set. I can't remember which one, but the design is very similar. Uh-oh, phone ringing in the background. Vladdy Jr. went off the other day. He had two homers. There we go, Luis. Over. Hopefully he comes back before too long. I mean, it's going to be a couple more weeks, but you just hope that he can come back and come back strong. All right, Evan White, Rookie of the Year favorite. Really nice. Those Mariners, they got some good young players. Emerson Hancock. Obviously, the first Bowmans uh, are big. So when I did the Bowman Chrome break the other day, uh, from 2008, we pulled that nice first Bowman, Jake Arrieta. Uh, and someone had put the comment, in, I want to say maybe it was Russ Jackson, about that possibly being the first year they did that. And I went back through and I found out that actually even earlier than that, in the earlier 2000s, they had the first Bowman. Um, but still, yeah, in the 21st century, I believe, is when they kicked that off. Another first Bowman. I've heard people say that the uh, paper prospect first Bowmans are not really in the same kind of demand. That one feels a little thick. Well, let's just see what we got. But, uh, you know, I don't mind them. And I did get a slab steal of a first Bowman paper. That I'll show off down the road. I picked up an, a couple slab steals, and I was very excited to show them off. And then as soon as they arrive, the dude gets hurt, for, and he's down for, like, months. Uh, that happened for a couple guys. So I'm just sort of hanging on to him before I show him off. Sam Huff. Great name. Dalton Varsho. Sounds like a Marvel villain. Alec Bone. That's his rookie card right there. <laughs> Nolan no longer with the Rockies. All right, let's see what our chromes are here. Really nice. Boy, they do a good job. I think they're getting better and better in the technology with the the all the chrome and the foils and because the rainbow shine is just really, really nice. Better and better each year. Whoop, we got a, a little print error right there. Wow, I don't even know how to say it. Leover Peguero. That's that's my guess. Yun Il Choi. Again, we will be waiting to see if any of these guys become super studs down the road. And actually, this year, we'll probably see some of these guys because so many guys are getting hurt that youngsters are getting their chance to come up maybe before they normally would have. Nice Juan Soto. All rise. Aaron Judge playing well. Mike Yastrzemski rocking a spectacular mustache these days. Kudos to him on his f face foliage. This 
a little Bo Bichette there. Jesus Sanchez, I believe he's been in Bowman a couple times. Tyler Cal Ihan. Usually there's an A there. Josiah Gray. Ella Hurius. I'm hoping that's how you say it. James Beard. All right. Perhaps we'll see a little James. He might already be in the show. I'm not sure, but right. White Sox got some outfielder problems right now. Come on, baby. Player to be named later. Are you going to do a little something for us here? We need uh, a little a little hotness right here. It's been a while since we had some Bowman hotness. Need something to get the ranch dressing. Because it's hot. Dylan Carlson. Nikki Cabrera. All Jewish team member Max Kepler. There's another Dalton Varsho. Usually these top prospects don't also have the rookie card logo on it. So that's kind of interesting. Francisco Alvarez. Blaze Jordan, awesome name. Jordan Grohans or Groshans. I'm liking the shine. I'm liking the shine, but we could use an auto pull or a numbered hit. Something good, especially for the premium we're paying. I do not get up early enough in the morning to grab any actual things off of Target.com before they get sold out by all the flippers, so we're definitely paying a premium. Oof, Blake Snell. Still looking for that Cy Young form. Got slapped around pretty good the other day, yesterday. The new skinniest man in all of baseball, Tristan McKenzie. Casey Mize. Woo, that's an off-cut action right there. Like true Bowmans, who were off and off-cut. Bo Naylor. Gunner Henderson. Well, that's a good baseball name right there. Gunner. All right. Can we get that last pack mojo? Player be named later. It's Babe Ruth's final home run day. We've got the pins out. Let's deliver. The folks at home want to see it hit. It's a whole reason people watch is to see, did you pull anything good? We don't need the classic shenanigans. We need some good stuff. Another root for the little guy, Nick Madrigal. Garrett Crochet. I wonder if he's a crocheter. Polar Bear on the IL for a little bit. Luis Garcia. Brennan Davis. Kevin Alcantara. I wonder if he's related. Well, we were dabbling in some classic shenanigans today, folks. We got no hits. Check this out. Signed as a free agent, so he's not drafted. Sound, signed out of the DR. We'll have to look into that. A lot of Alcantaras in the in baseball right now, so he could be related. That's how we used to do it back in the early, early uh, days there of the show. No hits ever, so we're we're dabbling in that today, unfortunately. But sometimes them's the breaks. But we make up for it with the awesome kindness and generosity from the fab subs so we can look at that stuff here as we close it out i really appreciate you tuning in leave a comment let me know what you thought of today's break slam that like button make sure you're subscribed to all your friends and i'll see you next time in the broadcast booth